Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and um, yes uh, last week's video with the um, timetables I think I've learned quite a lot from you guys and also reading of that document and um, yeah so just a big thank you to everybody who had commented on last week's video. Um, so now we're concentrating on Jarrah Road and as you can see I am putting together these seats. Now these seats, I've seen me make these up at least once before. Um, I think I did a video on this when I did it for Time Doc many years ago. Um, the kit has not changed at all. It's the mid-calf platform benches. Um, the only difference from the kit is I don't make up the double benches. I cut them in half and I gain two extra benches from the kit rather than having uh, the double benches. So that's the only change I make and obviously once I've glued them together. I do like to paint the um, ironwork um, just to finish them off. So that's where we are. Um, the wall that I was working on last time is virtually finished. Um, uh, like I said, I'm waiting for the paint to dry. Um, and then we can add the posters and fit the last and final wall. So, <laughs> I do like these little kits. So just uh, use a toothpick to put the, the glue on. I do like the idea that they give you a little jig to hold everything in place. So that's the seat virtually finished. I'll just put that back on there. Check that leveled up. Let me take it out now. The, the iron work that we, I splice, I always put that in the middle. Um, so if I pick up this one, this one's dried. You can see that you can see where I've actually cut it with a scalpel there. So you see got a lighter red compared to and that's the only reason why I repaint the ironwork. So now I'm just finishing off these uh, seats, just using a burgundy red to finish these off. And obviously if you've got a uh, great western lay layout, these would be brown I'd imagine, and not red. they do make a nice addition to the platforms and um, with that I, I never stick these down, I never glue anything down to the platforms um, reason being is that sometimes you might need to refresh the platform, give another coat of paint or something like that and if you're gluing figures and seats and all the rest of it, all, all of station furniture, if you're gluing it all down and it just becomes a nightmare to remove the glue afterwards. This, at least by having them freestanding you can um, yeah, refresh your platforms. And obviously with if you put figures on the seats, it adds that little bit of a 
weight, especially if you get the um, PD Marsh figures, which are quite, uh, which are made of lead, which are quite heavy anyway. So, um, yeah, that's another one done. Right, so we finished with the seats, now it's time to make the newspaper stand. Um, I did order one, um, I ordered a Metcalf kit, but it's taken so long getting here, I decided I can't wait, I'm going to make one myself. Um, I've been on the internet and had a look around at some of the newspaper stands that were about, and this design keeps popping up. Um, so it looks quite uh, like a common newspaper stand, um, but uh, so I've just roughly <laughs> put a sketch together um, just to give us an idea what it could look like. So I shall crack on. As you can see, I've been busy cutting some pieces of card up. Um, so we have our base, two sides two side plinths, a back and an aim board and two pieces for the top. So we'll just glue the top together for now. Um, you probably noticed on the base I've got a little notch there that's for some LEDs. Um, yeah I'm gonna pop an LED in here. So we'll just glue up this top and uh, we've got it's flush at the back and we have a 2 mil lip all the way around the top that's so that the card can stick inside like so inside the lip. Right, so we'll now glue the base to the back and while it's in that position I can paint the back and add some um, details before I start sticking the sides and everything on. Um, as you can see, oh, what probably happened there'd be hardly any space in there really need to get my fingers in. So we shall glue that onto there. Like so. Make sure it's nice and flush with the bottom. Bear in mind, if you have a size that you like, you have to take into account of thickness of cards and cut them down accordingly. Let's just make sure that stays nice and square. I've stuck together the three sides, back and base, and now I am slowly working on the top. Um, I've put some 2mm round edge around the top so I'm just trimming the edges now and uh, what I'll do is I'll just give it a very light uh, sanding once they've done. Yeah so I just took the edges past uh, the front and back so I can just cut them back afterwards and then just give them a light sanding and then I can fit the LED to the underside of this top. And then that will just sit on there like that. So it's, it's slowly beginning to take shape. I have now added some panelling from the door right way around the front and up the side. Uh, I think I'll leave it like that. And I've also added some um, magazines uh, on the back there, on the back wall. So I 
hopefully when it's lit up you can see all that um, in the background. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to add a counter and uh, a couple of small return angles inside where we can hang newspapers um, on the sides just inside the uh, stand there. So yeah, I've just got to add a little bit of card there and then we can do something with that door then. Um, yeah, so it's coming along. It's taking shape. So we'll let that dry now because uh, it's only just been painted on the inside. So we'll leave that to dry while we concentrate on the roof. And uh, yeah, it's it's taken shape. I have added a couple of um, pieces of card either side, three mil wide by two mil thick. And uh, the reason behind that is, is so I can glue another piece of card to come round the corner and create a box. Because as you can see, I fit an LED there, and the cables are running down the front rather than the back. Because I wanted to show the depth of this newspaper stand, and uh, seemed like the only way to hide the cables. So yeah. what I'm doing now, I'm going to add some fold-away doors to the front of this. Firstly, to hide the cables here, and secondly, there would have been some sort of doors going right away across the counter for locking up when the uh, newspaper st uh, stand attendant or keeper is finished. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I've measured the gap. The gap's roughly about 14 millimeters, and so here we are. These is going to be the door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the card, which is already pre-marked at 14 millimeters, and then we're going to fold it on these lines. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but just imagine if this was locked up, that's what you would see across there, a whole range of little doors. So that would concertina that way and then concertina that way, if you know what I mean. So I've worked it out at roughly about four doors would be to the middle. Yeah, so that looks about right. So that'll be glued onto the side. So that's one, two, three, four doors. So I'll cut that off of there. So I'll just check, see if that would be the right amount. And it looks like it will. So, firstly, I will cut that off of there. So there's our four doors. Now I shall fold it. Use my trusty square. Fold it and squish it tight. That way. Using my thumbnail to fold it back the other way. Squish it really tight and then do the same again. So there we have this set of doors for one side. And what we'll do, we'll pull this one back. So that one will be glued to the side wall. And then we have our four doors so when they close up at night all of them will come out and there'll probably be a padlock or something in the middle there to, to lock up so there you go that's the idea so we shall see what that looks like I'll just drop that in there so that was glued onto there like that yeah, you get my meaning. So that would be glued onto there, and the rest of the doors will be. <laughs> oh, 
all over. So we'll do, we'll glue them together. Glue in there. And a little dab of glue in there. And we'll squeeze them three together. Just hold it for a few seconds while it glue goes off. Right now, we can glue that to there like that. Yeah, so you get my meaning. So it looks like there's doors there. Once the glues were doored on, doored on. Once the doors have been glued on, I then focused on adding the finer details like these one mil strip bits of card to go around the top here and around the sides. So this now is ready for painting. I'm going to paint it in an oak colour uh, apart from the doors and the counter. The counter and the doors I'll paint black but I'm going to focus on painting the rest of it in an oak brown colour. So let's just see what it looks like when it's all done. Right so I've painted it in a oakish colour um, what I've done is I've used matte 62 and matte 63, 50% of each, and I got this nice oak tone as you can see. Um, I've just finished painting it, so what I'll do is I'll let that dry, and then I'll give it a light coat of satin varnish just to finish it off, and then I'll paint the top uh, matte black, and then uh, we'll uh, put this on the layout. So we have our newspaper stand, so what we need now is our newspapers. So what I've done here is I've folded a piece of paper in half, 10mm wide, to create a 5mm uh, newspaper front as it were. And now I'm just measuring down 6mm um, in length as it were. I'm just putting a tiny little dot there. Now this is the local Shields Gazette which normally has Gazette at the top and then what I'll do is I'll just put some black dots underneath and then backwards and forwards down just to create a newspaper front as it were. So we'll end up with something like this just looks like a bunch of scribble but from a distance it looks like a newspaper so now what I'm doing is I'm cutting them up into individual newspapers so I can just about make out my pencil lines so what I'll do is I'll cut that put a tiny tiny dab of glue on there and then I'll put the next newspaper over the top, just something like that. And then cut that at the next pencil line. So we like have a row of newspapers. It's a bit fiddly doing this job, but you can see what I'm trying to do here. So if I do three rows like that, that should just fit on the counter nicely. So I'll do, do the same again. Now we're back at the stand. And what I'm doing now, just for the final touches, is just giving it a little bit of a dusting with some black weathering powder. Just to add a bit of grime, just to the lower half of this stand. Right, 
and uh, yeah as you can see I have added the newspapers and there's even a few magazines on the counter so it's not a bad little job for a scratch build I can now put this on the layout well rephrase that I can now put this on the platform So we're back on the wall. Uh, what I'm doing now, I'm just fitting in the glazing um, so that we can then assemble the wall onto the main building. Um, just drawing round the window frames to get the width and the height right. And, uh, just pressing them into place they sort of kind of clip in because they're that tight they are just like that as long as it's down in all four corners see how the glue is just squashed out the sides there so that's a good fit that one just going to wipe off any excess glue Even though it's glue and glaze, it still leaves, if you're not too careful, it could have a, a bubble in the corner, a clear bubble. So there we go. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, yeah, I had to build a newspaper stand first because in order well, to get the drill in, to drill the hole, because, well, I can't really lift the main building up at the moment because it's it's wired in hence why we had to pause for a minute do the newspaper stand and then come back to this wall so that's where we are at the moment we're glazing here we are we're back at the station and there's one of the seats that we had built early with the odd couple sitting on them Right, so if we pan the camera around, this is where the newspaper stand is going to go. As you can see, it's quite close to this wall here. Um, hence why we had to build the newspaper stand in now, because the main station building here is already connected and wired up to the... Uh, electrics for the lighting and uh, hence why we built the newspaper stand so let's put the new paper, paper stand in place and we can have a look at it and now we have lights on if I just get the camcorder close enough we can see all the detail um, inside the newspaper stand you see the guy there selling the newspaper to that young lady. Right, and um, the wall is still not finished yet, uh, although the glazing's in. Um, we still got all the advertising signs and transfers to put onto the wall, like we have done on this side. Obviously, there'll be a lot fewer than what we've got there because of the windows. Right, so if I just turn this camera around we come back to the news agents. News agents? Newspaper stand again. Right. What can I say? Um, we're almost coming to the end of the year and end of the video. And uh, yes, it's, it's, it's been really good this year. Um, I'd like to have got this station really really finished and on its way um, to being part of the layout but uh, you know how it is we do what we can and uh, that's as far as we've got um, yes regarding um, the comments and the information I've had 
of you guys um, throughout the year has been, been a great help and, and I do appreciate that so please keep information, comments and just general conversations coming and uh, yeah that's one of the big pluses I like about the hobby, uh, the community um, which is great so um, this will probably be the last uh, obviously working update video for this year but there will be a run session video hopefully just before Christmas because we haven't had one for a long time and um, yes so if I don't hear from you and if you don't hear from me <laughs> have a great Christmas everybody and stay safe and uh, we'll catch up soon thanks for watching now Bye.